Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. So over the years, I've heard quite a few SEO myths. I can't figure out why they've become so popular and why people keep saying, and I keep, I, I, I keep seeing people put out these reports of anonymous websites that supposedly used a bunch of XYZ methods that I know don't work and I'm not being prone to work, but that catapulted the website from zero to one in I don't know, like a week maybe. So over the years, there've been quite a few of these myths that honestly I can't debunk each and every one of these SEO myths because to do that, I will have to test each one and then show the results for each SEO myth. Instead, I'm just gonna start with probably the most common one, which is LSI keywords. And I have also talked about LSI keyword extensively, but many people misunderstand that all they have to do is fill out a list of LSI keywords related to the main keyword that they're targeting, add that to the web page, and they should rank number one. That is not how this works. That's it. That is how not LSI keyword should be used. Instead, I will show you an alternative method of how to use something that really works instead of using LSI keywords. And there's a whole reason why LSI keywords do not work. The first thing is Google does not look at LSI keywords. LSI keywords is not something that you should be worried about. The same goes for autocomplete. The same goes for people also ask. The same goes for autosuggest or whatever. So, you know, we'll just start with LSI keywords for now because it's the, probably the most common thing I've heard. You can use LSI keywords to rank. No, that's not the case. But there are instances where a keyword may also be an LSI keyword, which is fine in that in that case. It, you know, the, yeah, I, if, if you're not sure about LSI keywords, watch a previous video I made about LSI keywords and there are quite a few other ones that I've made. And honestly, I am not an advocate of you peppering LSI keywords throughout your page. Even if they don't make sense, just insert them because you're gonna rank number one. You know, Google's algorithm doesn't work that way. And it's not even a black hat method, so you're just spinning your wheels and not seeing any results. So the, four, the two things we're gonna target is phrase-based index indexing and domain term. So these are two, two methods we're gonna discuss in this video, and I'll show you, walk you through how this is done. My apologies for interrupting this video, but just wanna put this out there that I offer SEO services. Actually, I offer individual SEO services and monthly SEO services. Now, the monthly SEO service is self-explanatory. I do monthly SEO for your business. I make sure that your business ranks. I make sure that your business ranks high. Uh, we work on your website each month. We work on website content, backlinks, whatever is needed to rank rank your website. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, we have ranked over uh, 300 clients in the past 16 years who have gone from rankings zero with zero rankings to now on the first page of Google for a lot of the main keywords that they have hoped to rank for. Now in some instances, it takes longer than it does with other others. In some industries, it's easier. In some industries, it's a lot more difficult. But we offer affordable SEO services, monthly SEO services, which you can check out on my website. You can also fill in the Google form, the link to which is you'll find in the description. Mm -hmm. uh, click the link for the form, and I will get in touch with you. Then we have these individual services. So if you were stuck someplace, or your you know your website doesn't appears to have been hit by a Google algorithmic update, or by a latest update to Google's algorithm, the audit service is probably where you'd want to go. So you buy my audit service based on the number of pages on your website. And I will audit your site. Now, unlike so many other audit services, my audit services is are extremely affordable. We go in depth. We also I also suggest what you can do with your website to improve it based on what I find, based on what I find wrong with your site. Um, just keep in mind that a lot of the stuff will take time to implement depending on what I find on your website. You can buy the audit server directly on my website. Go to cloudseodubai.com slash audit. Now, the next thing is the topical mapping service. If you're looking to build an authority, if you're doing an affiliate site or you're building an informational site, building authority is the number one thing you should be doing apart from all the other stuff. And so if you build authority, to build authority, you need a topical map. And that's why my topical mapping service comes in because I will map the topic I will map exactly what you need, the content you need, the pages you need, what you need on your website and build topical authority. So you have a blueprint of what needs to be done and you can then get your writers to write all the content and build all the internal links, which will help you rank your website sooner rather than later. Also, you'll find this service on my website. You can buy it directly on my website. Go to cloudseodubai.com. Now that we have that out of the way, let's jump right back into the video. All right, so we're going to start with Google search and the assumption is that you've already have a page and you're trying to re-optimize it um, to search 
So the phrase that you're optimizing for is Ford cars. Um, and we'll do Ford cars. And as you can see, this is the autocomplete. Now there's a use for the autocomplete, but since I'm in the UAE, you see it predicts that I'm going to search for Ford cars and the UAE. It then predicts because it's probably many people search for Ford cars in India. And then Ford car prices in the UAE, Ford car Ford cars in Dubai, and these are all predictions, but Google is made for people who are searching the, the internet, not for SEOs. And so we can take this list and we could, like a lot of SEOs suggest, you know, put these keywords on our page and try to optimize our page if they're relevant to our page. But usually that's not how this is done. Now there's a use for this, as I said, but this is not the use for it. So we'll go ahead and search for Ford cars. Okay, well, I'll just close this over here. So it says Ford cars, Middle East. So this is number one. Um, it has the knowledge panel. So it has Ford cars company. It has all of this over here. So the first thing is what we're trying to do is, the, the second thing you will see is if you scroll down, you'll see related searches. Now, uh, query refinements, as we call it, our, as our SEO brethren call it, uh, query refinements or related searches are at the bottom of the search results. So Google sometimes offer a set of query refinements at the end of the search, search results suggesting uh, things that a searcher can search for in addition to the original search term. Uh, the, uh, these queries or refinements were not originally added uh, to the page, but Google predicts that these are also things that the person searching for would search for. And so for an SEO, it would make sense that they would also have these pages if, if it's about four cars on their website, which is perfectly fine. But this does not mean that the main page will necessarily rank if you have all of these pages about Ford cars on your website. So that's a separate video that I'll make about semantically connecting pages, but just need to keep this in mind uh, when you're doing it. So the whole discussion of LSI keywords actually comes from um, Bell Labs and the term LSI did not appear in the patent nor in the subject of other, other patents at the US PTO. So the SEO tools that sell LSI keywords do not explain how LSI keywords help a page be optimized or for specific terms and, you know, do not include case studies showing how they work. So one does tell us that LSI keywords are more effective than keyword density, which has been an SEO myth for years. Uh, after looking through most of Google patents and papers, I have not seen any papers that describe the effectiveness of LSI keywords. There are papers on semantic topic models, which have nothing to do with LSI keywords and much more to do with my suggestions for the actual substitutions of LSI keywords that may work. So two things here, we're going to go for phrase based indexing. So that's the first method we're going to use, uh, which means adding complete phrases on pages that rank highly for a specific search term and frequently occur on those pages. Uh, so over here, we're going to look at look at this as an example. So we, we search for Ford cars and I've not searched for Ford cars before. So this is the first time I'm, I'm searching for Ford cars. Um, so I'll open like the first one. I have a pretty good idea what I'm going to see. I want to open the second one, but for this to work, you'd have to look at the top 10. So not just three of these pages, the H1. So all new Ford Mustang, putting muscle onto it. So what's happening at Ford. Also, this is like the main Ford site. So this is the official Ford site for the Middle East. Um, it has all this, they have a lot of eat and they have a lot of domain authority. So obviously this is not going to make a good example, but uh, it has a Ford Mustang right on top and it says all new. Uh, we then go to the other one and this is probably someone, you know, a website that sells. Um, this is one of the sub pages and this is ranking number two, I believe. So if you look at this, it has to ask for, explore our Ford new vehicle range, discover our after sales service, insurance, bring a Ford to you, official Ford car dealers in the UAE. Ford car dealerships in the UAE. All right, so we've got all of this over here. We then have this over here, new Ford models. Uh, 
There we just look at this. And these are all the phone models. So there's not much in the way of content, but the fun first thing you'd probably notice is the word new is on every page. New. So it's got new here. It's got all new here. Also, all new is also, so it's not only new, so it's all new. So two words that are on all pages, so all new. This is probably not on this page, but so there are also repeating pages like the Mustang. So this one will probably will have the Mustang, but the main port site has the Ford Mustang. And so there's a repeated theme of every part of this site. So the all new Mustang, Raptor. So all of these are related to the term Ford, which are also on these pages over here. So they have the names, they have the Bronco, they have the Raptor, Bronco Raptor, they have the after sale service, they have insurance, and they also a great deal of heat. So their domain authority is really high. The next one is 2023 Ford, Ford models, and this is where all the models are linked. This is also not a, an official Ford site, but they have all the models linked. Now, based on this, we can say that the term all new is probably what Google is looking at. Google also isn't looking at pages that are very content heavy, but they want to see words like all new. They want to see online inventory or inventory on the pages because all three of the pages have them. Also, you know, there's not a lot of content on the pages, but there's a lot of these cars being displayed also on the main Ford website. And so if you want to optimize the page, you want to put on a lot of Ford cars, probably all the popular models should be listed on the page along with the term all new, along with the term UAE, MENA, which is uh, the Middle Eastern region. And so these pages would be on there. Let's take a look at a second example of how we would do this. So we'll say, we dog training tips. All right. So sponsored, sponsored, top 10 dog training tips. So we'll take a look at this. We'll also take a look at the RSPCA, very high domain authority, but still look at this, top trained it. So top three of the results is what we're looking at. Uh, top 10, dog training, and then dog training 101, how to completely train your dog, and <clears throat> dog training basics, got all the basics, house training, house care. And so we're trying to find three word and four word maybe even five words that repeat themselves. So four word phrases and five word phrases that repeat themselves throughout these three pages. Now this is a little harder to do because I haven't read all of these articles, but we can use ChatGPT to help us. So, all right, so I've used ChatGPT here. Now if you have, if you put in more URLs, you'll get better results. Also, if you tweak the, the, the prompting a little bit to make it so that if you say that three or more pages have the same, or two or more pages have the same phrases, then you'll see better, better results. But this is a, an example. So we've asked ChatGPT to go through the three pages and find us three word and five word phrases that repeat themselves across all three pages that we pulled up. And it found positive reinforcement. It found your dog too. So it, it didn't find any five word phrases. Uh, so we'll ask it if there are any are there any forward phrases that repeat themselves? And so we could ask it if there are other phrases here and see that if there are any other. So obviously you'll have to do a more detailed prompt or read the article, um, but it says positive reinforcement training, training your dog, and similar variants, which are consistent across dog training advice. Uh, so yeah, so this is, this is how you can do this. Now, the next thing we're going to do, is we're going to look at domain specific keywords. So what that means is apart from phrase based indexing, we also look at, it's important to explain this. So another Google pattern describes domain terms on pages that use context vectors to understand terms better than pages, pages you may rank for. So uh, there a few videos ago, I talked about some of this in some detail. 
So mainly what this means is domain terms. So domain is, ma is mainly the industry, so industry specific terms. Um, so for in the, in the instance of dot trading, you want to find industry specific terms that are relevant to dot trading. Um, you can go to Wikipedia and try and search for them. But let's do it the easy way. This let, let's just ask Chad GPT if there are any industry specific terms. And so what I've found is it's a little hit or miss with Chad GPT, but you'll usually save you from having to read through a long Wikipedia page to try and understand what this is or in a few other websites. Um, and so it says positive reinforcement. So this apparently is an industry term. Uh, clicker training, and this is another term. Create training, which is another term. Socialization, behavior modification, leash, reactivity, recall, market training. So there are quite a few of these industry terms, and I didn't have to go in a lot and read them, and it's also explain what these terms mean. So if you go ahead and include these terms onto your page, you're making it semantically relevant to the industry by using these domain terms. Is you're helping Google understand what your page is about by adding these industry terms so that Google doesn't mistake this term for something else. So there is no use for latent indexing, latent semantic indexing. Uh, these methods work perfectly fine and you can use them and you can use them across all industries. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below if you also use LSI keywords and you know if your results have been any different from my results. Like and subscribe guys and I will see you in the next video.